This election is about which direction we need to go to embrace and prepare for the bright future of our city. Do we go forward with bold vision and bold ideas and a clear plan to make Surrey an even greater place to live? Or do we, go, do we turn back the clock to an era of dysfunction and division that left Surrey forgotten in the decisions made in Victoria and Ottawa? When you vote on October 20th, just imagine what you want the next chapter of Surrey's story to be. And that starts by imagining the kind of city we want. The kind of city we want to build together. I imagine a Surrey where the vast majority of our citizens live, work and play right here. A Surrey with a strong economy that creates good paying jobs and has a strong vibrant community for all of us to enjoy. I imagine a city that's connected and where we can move quickly between our unique town centers and our state-of-the-art recreational facilities. I imagine a transit system that is accessible, fast, affordable, a system that is meant to connect our city and not take people out of our city. Today, we're forced to confront the consequences of gun violence in our city. I imagine a Surrey where gun violence is a thing of the past. Let's focus on the questions being asked of us and use this discussion to expand our moral duty and imagine what is possible for us when we work together on finding a solution. With bold ideas such as a ban on handguns, we can ensure that young lives do not continue to be lost. We imagine these bold ideas because we know what this city is built on. It's built on dreams, the dream of 1,000 new residents that move here every month and make it their home. It's built on the dreams of pioneers and our kids, and it's built on your dreams. This city has been defined by the big dreams and big ideas. We're a city not afraid of big ideas, and we're definitely not afraid of hard work. It's going to take a great team to build our city for the future, and I believe the team you're going to meet this morning is exactly that. Ladies and gentlemen, this group in front of you is the new Surrey First team. This team is experienced, it's educated, it's energetic, and it's diverse. A team that is ready to go to work for you and your family and ready to continue to build Surrey we can all be proud of. You know what, uh, when I'm looking at our current Surrey, we have 102 languages spoken in the city. And, uh, you know, the current council does not reflect the diversity that we have uh, in this great community. It was very particular for me that when we looked at new candidates, uh, that there were several issues that we need to ensure. One is we want to look at the diversity of where people lived. We want to look at the education that one could bring to this table. And certainly, uh, one of the most important pieces was to make sure that people are committed to the city, the city and have both now and the past uh, made some significant investment in the city with respect to making change. Uh, whether it was volunteering or working with the groups or committees, uh, that was what was most important to me. And today, absolutely, there's no question, you know, everybody I've introduced today has a vested interest and have volunteered in this community and want to make a difference. Another newcomer to Surrey First is Narima De La Cruz. Welcome, Narima. Lots of support from Narima today. Well done. <laughs> Narima is a medical and court interpreter, a realtor, and a longtime community advocate and volunteer. Narima is a past president of the Parents Advisory Council at Johnson Heights Secondary, and she's also a founding director and president of the Surrey Philippines Independence Day Society. Yes. 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 Narima also volunteers with the Canadian Cancer Society, the Surrey Food Bank, and the BC Transplant Society. Narima is married to Joel. Joel, are you here? Yes, I'm here. There he is. <laughs> An engineer, and they've got two exceptional children, including one who's an accomplished singer and composer, and her son Daryl, a well-known blogger and transportation advocate. You know what, uh, I think that uh, we need to ensure that we have the diversity on council. And, and when you're looking at the Filipino community, you know, uh, this community's been very successful in this, in this city, and uh, they need a voice. 
They need to understand how to access City Hall. They need to know how to make changes in the City Hall and how to contribute in a sense of being part of the governance table. Uh, and so I'm very excited to have Nareema participate. Uh, you know what, uh, I think that Nareema's son, Daryl, has been a very big advocate for SkyTrain. And you know what, uh, I think that's really important. I think Nareema's raised her kids with a perspective to make sure that she teaches her kids to be able to advocate and lobby for what they believe in. And that's great. And I think that's the kind of candidate I want. I want someone very strong, someone very bold, who can make some changes. And I'm very excited to have Nareema on my team. Nareema! I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy today. Good morning, everyone. Morning. And, uh, Hi. and I'm so, so proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you see our vibrant group? Very, very vibrant. <laughs> and Suri first. And I'm sure it's going to be a real vibrant Suri, just like what Tom Gill said. Yes, definitely. We're excited and we're ready to work. You are ready to rock. Suri, why so late? The announcement. Come on. This is just crazy. I think um, the, the team has to be ready. So um, we did a lot of team building. We want to be able to be out there when we're all ready. And, you know, we know each other very well. We're comfortable with each other. And, um, and now we are um, uh, very, very much at ease with each other. And, um, yeah, it's just the right time, just the perfect time. It was a very diverse uh, group. It is a very diverse group of, uh, of candidates for uh, council. Uh, what, what do you say about that? Exciting, right? I'm so happy to see that. And from the beginning, when um, I decided that I will join Suri first, I was already told and I was aware that it's going to be a very diverse group. And it's good to see representation from different, not only from different town centers, but from, from different groups and from different generations. And it's, it's going to be really a, a team to beat. What is the number one thing that you're going to change in Surrey? What is it? <laughs> well, you know, Surrey is a big um, city with um, wonderful people and, um, and, um, and amazing diversity. And it has many um, challenges, just like, uh, just like other cities. And um, our first priority uh, with Zuri First is to ensure that um, the public safety is, um, is our topmost concern. Because, you know, when everyone is safe, everything falls into place. That is correct. That is so nice. I think you're going to get a big, big Suri support. I look forward to that and um, we will work hard. I will work on that. I will um, make sure I will talk to um, each of you, each and everyone, and that um, I pledge that we will be working together, you and me, Suri first and us, for the greatness of this city. That is wonderful, Nurima. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your support is everything to me. More power to you. Thank you. Suri first.